Hello everyone. Well, today's topic of discussion is displacement current. Okay. Now we what we have studied yet that changing that changing magnetic field produces electric field. Okay, till now this concept we have started. Now the question arises. Now the question arises is vice versa be true is changing electric field produces magnetic field. Okay, now this is the question we are going to explain that if it is happen and how it happens. And Maxwell, our scientist, has proved this. Okay. Now, Maxwell has performed, Maxwell performed an experiment. What you see, Maxwell performed an experiment. What is experiment is, he has taken a circuit diagram. This is the circuit diagram. This is the battery. This is the positive terminal. This is the negative terminal. Right. Now we need to close the circuit. Okay. As soon as we close the circuit, current starts flowing in the circuit. All we know that, right? So this is the parallel plate capacitor. This is parallel plate capacitor. Okay. Now in this circuit, capacitor starts charging. Okay. And it helps to grow current. It slowly increases its current. Okay, right? How it is? Like this is here. It is a positive terminal. What it what it it what it does? That it pulls electrons from this capacitor, and this is electron. It pulls positive charges from this capacitor, and the current starts flowing in this direction. Okay. Now Maxwell observed what it or what he observed. He takes a point P here. Okay. Now he wants to he wanted to observe that if there is a magnetic field, because current is flowing, obviously there is a magnetic field. But now how to prove it? Right? There is a magnetic field, but how it proves? It proves like that he placed a magnetic needle here. This is magnetic needle, right? As current is flowing through it, magnetic needle starts deflecting. It deflect. It deflects. Why it deflects? It's a magnet. Obviously, there should must be a magnetic field which helps in deflection of the magnetic field. So, what is the direction of the magnetic field? Now, place your thumb in this direction, in the direction of current. So, your curly fingers, your curls of the fingers shows the direction of the magnetic field. So. This is the direction of the magnetic field. Okay, and magnetic needle deflects. It means there must be a. He proves that there is a magnetic field. Okay, but uh, now here it is not an infinite straight wire. So here we have applied Ampere's circuital law. That what is Ampere's circuital law? That is a closed integral of magnetic field around a closed loop is equals to mu naught. I. So, I is conduction current. Right? Conduction current. Now, Maxwell, this is Ampere's circuital law. We have written this is Ampere's. What Ampere's have proved that there is a conduction current. But Maxwell said that there is one more current that displaces conduction current. Now, how, it, how he has proved, he places magnetic needle here in the capacitor as well. Okay. So, he placed a magnetic needle here as well. Right. Okay. Now, as current is flowing, this pulls positive. So, here it is. This pulls positive from here. So, here it is negative. Okay. And positive accumulated 
positive charges accumulated here in this capacitor and negative charges accumulated in this capacitor slowly. Okay. Now first this is, now there is a static charges, so it produces, arises magnetic field. Here again negative, again positive, again electric field line, then negative, then positive, again electric field line. So there are what? It, what happens here that electric field lines are growing rapidly due to the charging of the capacitor. As capacitor is charging, similarly magnetic field lines are increasing. If magnetic field lines are increasing, what it happens? If magnet, uh, sorry, electric field lines. If they are not magnetic field lines, electric field lines, right? If electric field lines, electric field line increases, electric flux also increases. What is electric flux? That is number of electric field lines crossing per unit area. Okay, now electric field line increases, electric flux increases. So if electric flux increases, what he observed Right, what Maxwell observed that magnetic needle still deflects. See, there is no current in between, still magnetic needle deflects. It means there must be a magnetic field. So, how it comes? That Maxwell proved that changing electric field lines, here it is, changing electric field lines changes electric flux and change, changing electric flux produces magnetic field if it is if it produces magnetic field only then it it happens or it is possible to deflect the needle otherwise it is not possible to deflect the needle if there is no magnetic field so how magnetic field arises due to the changing electric field so, it means there is a magnetic field. It means there must be a electric current. So, that electric current is called what Maxwell named this current. That is displacement current. This is called displacement current. Okay, why it is called displacement? Displacement means you have to dis you need to displace some displace something with this so what we displace we we have displaced conduction current with the another current that is called displacement current right so here displacement concept of displacement current arises now you can derivate the formula as well okay what is electric flux just write it down Electric flux is, here it is, phi is equals to Ea, okay, okay, now what is E here, just put the values, it is Q by 4 pi r square, epsilon naught, write it down, epsilon naught into A, right, there it is. Epsilon naught into eight. Okay, now Q by what is four pi r square? Sphere. And that is surface area of a sphere. So A epsilon naught into A now would be cancel out. So what we have left with Q by epsilon naught. Right. Okay. So we already have studied in the experiment of Maxwell that there is a change in magnetic flux so change in means derivative of magnetic flux we know that change means rate of change so it is rate of change is change in magnetic flux d phi by dt is equals to c by dt q by epsilon naught okay now 1 by epsilon naught take it outside it is d q by dt okay so what is rate of change of charge that is current so we can write d 
electric flux is equal to 1 by epsilon naught i right so this i is due to change in magnetic flux and this is called displacement current so from here you can find the value of displacement current that is epsilon naught d phi e by d t if there is a change in magnetic flux only then displacement current occurs so this is displacement current what maxwell has proved by its experiment otherwise it is not suitable to accept it so we can say that what maxwell has said that your ampere circuital law is inconvenient here yeah? because it is not applicable here so it is inconvenient inconvenient and also maxwell has also what maxwell has proved the continuity of the current in the capacitor otherwise until now we are not we will we were not performing with the continuity we didn't know about the continuity but he has proved the continuity as well that there is a continuous uh, continuity in the current okay so there must be a current in the capacitor so this is displacement current that is proved by i hope you will like my lecture thank you so much